Hey, travel lovers, welcome back to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica. This is a channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. And I give you travel tips, and that is what today is all about. I'm gonna show you my travel first aid kit in all the different types that I have. <laughs> My dad is a firefighter and an EMT, and he has always kind of instilled this idea of safety into me, and I take that very seriously, and I've taken that into my adult years in many different ways, and this is one of them. I have three different things here that I wanna share with you. My whole idea for this video is that you take what you need and you run with it. The first thing I'll share with you is the first aid kit you buy. So this has everything you need in it. Um, Care Plus is a main one here in Europe, I believe. In the US, there's a couple other brands. This is very small, packs very light. It's uh, a soft fabric, pretty durable. It just packs very nicely in your bag. It also has a loop, so you can use a carabiner if you wanna hang it on something. So this is great if you're backpacking. It also has a Velcro strap in the back, so you can put it like on a, a pant loop or something. And then inside, folds out into two parts. So what we have in here is some gauze, some gloves, scissors, tweezers, big band-aids, uh, sterile wipes, things like that. So I will put a link to this and the equivalent in the US in the description so you can check it out. So if you've seen any of my packing videos, um, I did those before I had this, but it just kind of goes in with my toiletries and stuff like that in that section. And yeah, it's just, it's so small. Why not? Why not use a little bit of space to be a little safer? The second thing I'm gonna show you is kind of my first aid kit, but my comfort kit, I think might be a better way to call it. So the first one I actually bought because it is more of a traditional first aid kit um, with sterile things and like for major cuts and stuff like that. This is more just like my personal what I need and I didn't buy anything. I don't even know where this, I don't know where this came from. Like, <laughs> I've had this for so long. By the way, if you want more European travel videos or travel tips, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll, I'll wait for you. Yeah, hit subscribe. And then in the comments, tell me hi and say that you're a new subscriber so I can say hello back because I love, love to hear those things and welcome you to the community. So I'll show you what's inside. So this is packed exactly how I would pack it if I was traveling. Okay, it's just gonna fall into my lap. Alrighty, so. I have earplugs because you never know. And I feel like you should always have them. And I actually put in, <laughs> this is so silly. I put in some earrings for some unknown reason, I guess in case I ever emergency needed earrings and bobby pins. I've recently gotten these, so don't ask me if they work or not, but I think I got inspired by The Endless Adventure to try these. These are C-bands for na nausea relief for motion sickness. I have had problems in the past with it, so I got these and this is the perfect place for those. Band-aids because, or bandages, plasters, whatever you wanna call them, because obviously everybody needs a band-aid. I have a couple of these in here. This is chewable Pepto-Bismol, so this is like if you're feeling sick to your stomach. I had a very, very bad night in Barcelona once. I will not travel without <laughs> Pepto-Bismol ever again. I have very specific allergies related to animals, so even though I'm so grateful that I do not have allergies to things that I really can't control, I don't want it to impede in my travels or if I'm visiting somebody, so I always carry um, Zyrtec D. I get these in the US. I used to, in the US, I used to be on a, a prescription medicine. They ran out one day and then the pharmacist recommended this. It makes me not have any sort of uh, reaction to cats and dogs, so I always travel with that. These are little um, wipes for your glasses. So I was introduced to these with from my friend who lives here and never gone back. So that's really nice to have. Quells, shout out to Roma from Roaming Required. She turned me onto these. Again, it is for motion sickness. So I have that in here. You might think me crazy. That's fine. It's the internet. Um, I keep caffeine pills in here. I only really use these at conferences though, um, but it's nice to have because I don't drink coffee. And if I really need a little bit of a boost, I take these. It doesn't make me jittery. It just kind of 
it, it takes my energy up a little bit and I don't really crash afterwards, which is nice. I got this last time I was in the US. This is Dramamine. Uh, also motion sickness. Um, this is the less drowsy formula. I haven't tried these. So basically I have three different ways and I'm not on something enough to try them very often. So um, next time I'll try these and then the next time I'll try some other things. So that's just a just in case. Strepsils, so little throat lozenges and I just cut them out uh, <laughs> from their packaging. I should let you know that carrying medicine without its packaging is a bit risky depending on where you're traveling to. So just keep that in mind when you're packing your own. Um, there are definitely some countries where you have to have your medicine labeled, so just I'm letting you know that. I don't fly outside the EU very often, so this shouldn't really be an issue as far as people worrying or checking about that stuff. And it's also such a little amount, but you never know, so just be careful. Tylenol little uh, Tylenol. Here, the big thing is um, paracetamol, so anything like that, but I love the little travel um, containers. Okay, what do I have? Oh, paracetamol, just in case. So I like Aleve a little bit better, but sometimes you need paracetamol or Tylenol as well, so I have that. A little sewing kit. So this is just from somewhere that I stayed. I always take the sewing kit if I don't have one in that bag for whatever reason, just to keep it in case I need it. I've used this one multiple times. I don't say how many hotels that have them. So. These are a lifesaver. If you've never had these, this brand is Compede. Am I saying that right? So these are blister packs. This one is just for the heel, but I also have packs that's like for the heel or for another part. Use these only after you get a blister. It's not to prevent a blister because it actually sticks on to the blister, which I have found out. But if you have a big blister, these are just amazing. They stay on for a few days and they heal the blister and it's magic. I, I don't even understand it. Oh, and some more leave. This is a single dose of Benadryl. Allergic reactions can be very serious and if you don't use an EpiPen or if it's not that serious but you are having a relax reaction, Benadryl is something that I would personally take. So again, you have to figure out what is right for you and your situation. The reason I love this is because it has all of the information on there. So you can travel with just one dose and I think that is so important. The same with you know, the Dramamine, it's all on there. So if you can find travel um, options, that is the best way to go. So I just have a single serving. Again, this will get me to a doctor or a pharmacy or something like that so that I can get something else if I need it. I love this. So I never use these in the US. I don't even know if they were a thing. I think they have them now, but these are powdered medicines. So again, all of the information is on the packet, super legal, and you just put it into some hot water. And so this one is multi-symptom severe cold. This is from the US now. Uh, and this one is nighttime severe cold and cough. So I actually started using these when I was in, well not the American ones, but the European ones. When I was in Latvia, I was there for a conference a few years ago and got so sick. I had to go to the pharmacy and they gave me some of these. So I really like it because you have, you get the hot, tea kind of thing going on and the medicine at the same time. I can't swallow like massive pills, so I like to have alternatives, which nowadays there are a lot. So this is my first aid slash personal comfort kit. Um, I have one more thing that I wanna show you because I kind of, I mean, I say I came up with it. I think it was just one of those things where I didn't have it. And so I was like, this is the perfect idea. <laughs> We'll see. But do you have anything else that you would put in your comfort kit at home? Let me know. What am I missing? <laughs> this is something I came up with just to keep it in my bag, my day bag. Um, I don't really wanna carry that in my day bag depending on how full it is. I would suggest getting a mint tin. So you could do uh, Altoids or there's another brand around here, I think Barclays. Or you can also get um, a soap that's tin. So like um, a shampoo bar tin or something like that from Lush or something like that and use that for this. So this <laughs> is actually a freebie from um, Panty Liner Company. And so this is very small. It's much smaller than a tin for soap or mints, but whatever fits you best. I just love how thin it is. So in here, I have a single serving of Benadryl again, because this is something that I want to keep on me. Two things of Pepto-Bismol, so for tummy. Two Band-Aids or plasters. Two throat lozenges. Two Paracetamol. Two Aleve. Two Zyrtec D's. And one Swells. Um, 
motion sickness pill. So that just stays in here and that will go in my day bag and that way I always have one or two of something if I need it in the moment otherwise, or it will then get me back to my other bag where I would have more. All right, what did you think? Did you think that was all necessary? Way too much, not enough? What would you add? Definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this packing tips video, go ahead and give it a like, share it with your friends if you think it's helpful and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.